Shofatim, Judges 1. Now, after the death of Yahusha, it came to pass that the children of Yashere'el asked Yahuwah, saying, Who shall go up for us against the Kena'anim first to fight against them? And Yahuwah said, Yahuda shall go up. Behold, I have delivered at the land into his hand. And Yahuda said unto Shimon, his brother, Come up with me into my lot, that we may fight against the Kena'anim, and I likewise will go with you into your lot. So Shimon went with him, and Yahuda went up, and Yahuah delivered at the Kena'anim, and the Perazim into their hand. And they slew of them in Bezech ten thousand men. And they found Eth Adoni Bezech in Bezech. And they fought against him. And they slew Eth the Kena'anim and Eth the Perazim. But Adoni Bezech fled, and they pursued after him, and caught him, and cut off at his thumbs and his great toes. And Adani Bezech said, Three score and ten kings, having their thumbs and their great toes cut off, gathered their meat under my table. As I have done, so Elohim has requited me. And they brought him to Yerushalayim, and there he died. Now the children of Yahuda had fought against Yerushalayim, and had taken it, and smitten it with the edge of the sword, and set at the city on fire. And afterward, the children of Yahuda went down to fight against the Kena'anim that dwelt in the mountain, and in the Negev, and in the valley. And Yahuda went against the Kena'anim that dwelt in Hebron. Now, the name of Hebron was Kiryat Arba. And they slew Eth Shishai, and Eth Achiman, and Eth Talmai. And from thence he went against the inhabitants of Diver, and the name of Diver before was Kiryat Sefer. And Kelev said, He that smites Eth Kiryat Sefer, and it. To him will I give Eth Acha, my daughter, to be his woman. And Othniel, the son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother, took it, and he gave him Eth Acha, his daughter, to be his woman. And it came to pass, when she came to him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted from off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What will you? And she said unto him, Give me a blessing, for you have given me a south land. Give me also eth springs of water. And Caleb gave her eth the upper springs and the nether springs. And the children of the Kani. Moshe's father-in-law went up out of the city of palm trees with Eth, the children of Yahuda, into the wilderness of Yahuda, which lies in the south of Arad, and they went and dwelt among Eth, the people. And Yahuda went with Eth Shimon, his brother, and they slew Eth the Kena'anim 
that inhabited Sephath and utterly destroyed it. And Eth, the name of the city was called Chormah. And also Yahuda took Eth Gaza with Eth the coast thereof and Eth Ashkelon with Eth the coast thereof and Eth Ikron with Eth the coast thereof. And Yahuah was with Eth Yahuda, and he drove out Eth the inhabitants of the mountain, but could not drive out Eth the inhabitants of the valley, because they had chariots of iron. And they gave Eth Hebron unto Caleb, as Moshe said. And he expelled thence Eth the three sons of Anach. And Eth the children of Binyamin did not drive out Eth the Yevasim that inhabited Yerushalayim. But the Yevasim dwell with the children of Benyamin in Yerushalayim unto this day. And the house of Yosef they also went up against Beit El, and Yahuwah was with them. And the house of Yosef sent to descry Beit El. Now the name of the city before was Luz. And the spies saw a man come forth out of the city. And they said unto him, Show us, we pray you, Eth the entrance into the city, and we will show you mercy. And when he showed them Eth the entrance into the city, they smote Eth the city with the edge of the sword. But they let go Eth the man and Eth all his family. And the man went into the land of the Chetim, and built a city, and called the name thereof Luz, which is the name thereof unto this day. Neither did Menasheh drive out Eth the inhabitants of Beit Sha'an and Eth her towns, nor Tanaach and Eth her towns, nor Eth the inhabitants of Deor and Eth her towns, nor Eth the inhabitants of Liviam, and Eth her towns, nor Eth the inhabitants of Megiddo, and Eth her towns, but the Kenaanim would dwell in that land. And it came to pass, when Yashara'el was strong, that they put Eth the Kenaanim to tribute, and did not utterly drive them out. Neither did Ephraim drive out at the Kenaanim, rather Kenaanim, that dwelt in Gezer, but the Kenaanim dwelt in Gezer among them. Neither did Zevalin drive out at the inhabitants of Kritran, nor at the inhabitants of Nehalal, but the Cana Anim dwelt among them and became tributaries. Neither did Asher drive out Eth the inhabitants of Akko, nor Eth the inhabitants of Sidon, nor Eth of Achlav, nor Eth of Akiziv, nor Eth of Kelba, nor Eth of Afech, nor Eth of Rechav, but the Asherim dwelt among the Canaanim, the inhabitants of the land, for they did not drive them out. Neither did Naphtali drive out Eth, the inhabitants of Beit Shemesh, nor Eth, the inhabitants of Beit Anath, but he dwelt among the Canaanim, the inhabitants of the land. Nevertheless, the inhabitants of Beit Shemesh and of Beit Anath 
became tributaries unto them. And the Emarim forced Eth, the children of Dan, into the mountain, for they would not suffer them to come down to the valley. But the Emarim would dwell in Mount Cherech in Elan, rather Eyalan, and in Sha'alabin, yet the hand of the house of Yosef prevailed, so that they became tributaries. And the coast of the Emarim was from the going up to Ma'ale Akrabim, from the rock, and upward. <laughs>